Hello, hello! <laughs> Welcome to another video! I thought today it could be interesting to go over the drawings I've done in the past year. It's actually been about a year since I began drawing digitally and um, drawing using my iPad and Procreate. And now it's, you know, I've been drawing quite consistently and the app is too heavy for my iPad, I think. It's already a few gigabytes and I want to declutter it. And before I do that, I thought, why not just go over what I've been drawing so far? Kind of like a sketchbook tour, except that it's uh, Procreate. <laughs> and uh, it would be interesting also for me to see my progress and, you know, the different steps I had on the way to get to the point that I am in right now. So here I have a cup of cold brew um, coffee. Um, it's very, very, very hot today in Germany, um, 34 degrees. It feels like we skipped spring altogether and now it's summer. Um, anyway, so I did a quite similar video back in uh, a year ago after one month of trying digital art. And so if you're interested, you can see that video. I'll link it down below in the description. So I'll start with the drawings I did after that. Um, so. I was quite happy, I remember, with the colors and I tried around, I remember, for this piece especially with different um, outline colors than the colors that's filled in with. So for example, when you see the hair here, it's a little lighter brown and then darker brown, so I tried to play around with that and it was quite fun. And uh, yeah, then here I have my profile picture. I have kept the same one. I've only changed the color of my shirt. <laughs> I had it like this because um, I had a long uh, hair back then that I would always put in as a high bun. But now I cut it short, so maybe I should update it. But yeah. Then I also tried with different styles. So you see here, I drew N of Green Gables. So I took one screenshot from the movie and tried to imitate it. So that's a little different than what I usually do. So you can see it's a bit rough. And I always found it very hard to paint the hair. So you can see that it's not looking as smooth or uh, natural. But yeah. And I remember spending a lot of time making the skin texture with uh, also putting the freckles in and uh, also the texture of the um, head and then these drawings here i think are one of the first drawings that i did that kind of is related to the style i have back then i didn't really have any style i just drew whatever i wanted to draw and i also copied a lot of artist drawings when you copy somebody else's drawing or when you try to draw in a similar style then you always learn something in the way and it doesn't necessarily mean that you will copy it and keep it in their way but you also adapt and learn on that process so these ones <laughs> i had a lot of fun drawing i also have a video of me um, drawing these as a draw with me video uh, i really liked working with these illustrations because I had just a set of colors in my color palette and I tried to only stick to that. And also I used only one uh, brush which was a 6B pencil. I only used that pencil brush back then. And um, I really started to develop the liking for very simple drawings but with a little bit of texture of the pencils. I think I kept kind of that um, essence of the pencil texture and a bit of uh, roughness and not perfecting everything, if you know what I mean. And I still like that. I wouldn't draw in the same way now, but I quite like <laughs> those uh, textures. I remember I spent so much time drawing this little boy, but I was really proud of it after it was done. <laughs> Yep, so you can also see similar styles here. And then, and I think it was around this time that I started to use the small, uh, you know, lines just for putting the texture as well and um, showing the colors. 
Mm. And you can also see it here and there, there are some patterns appearing. This is the time that I started to really draw more patterns and uh, have fun playing around with it. Ah, you see here that I tried different style. <laughs> I think this kind of style is really cool, but I don't enjoy drawing them as much as the, uh, the style that I have now, which is more a bit rough and um, naive in a way. Here I was inspired by the Disney or Pixar characters and I tried to also draw in that um, style, you know, with the big eyes, big mouth, <laughs> small nose and uh, um, these textures and different colors, uh, like the gradients. Then there are more patterns here and there. This one I actually really like. The patterns like this I can definitely imagine myself wearing as uh, something like a bucket hat. And here you see this cat. <laughs> I started to draw, I mean I like cats so naturally I would draw them. And this navy black cat kind of became my uh, original character. <laughs> something like that. I would call him Maui. When I draw this guy, I would imagine his personality of being a little bit mean, but also like very curious and sweet in a way, only when he wants to be. <laughs> um, yeah, like a quirky little cat. Around this time, I also sometimes did the drawing my style challenges, like here. Quite fun to try different drawings that maybe you would not draw so often and just experiment with it and be inspired by the illustrator who put this challenge out and see how you can make it in your style. I think that's a really good exercise if you want to get better. And then I, of course, have some llama drawings, some patterns. Around this time here, I started to be interested in drawing um, different elements or different items of one theme and just keeping it in one uh, canvas. So here, this is the summer theme. So I would put everything that I can think of at that moment that's related to summer. And you can also see here are the ingredients that I use for making my vegetarian pho. I remember when I drew these patterns, I was so proud of it afterwards. Um, I made three swatches and this one is my favorite. It's, it kind of reminds me of like this uh, very warm midsummer night <laughs> um, with a lot of flowers around and um, kind of mystical yeah and I also shared this pattern as phone wallpaper so that you can download and use it as your phone background if you wanted to and then this drawing I spent a lot of time on usually I would not spend so much time on one painting just because I prefer, well, I like seeing the results first, first of all, and and I like the drawings to be a little naive. But this one, somehow I wanted to try out really tropical, um, very colorful drawing. And this drawing started off with just one chicken. And then I thought, hmm, could be nice if some a girl is holding the chicken. <laughs> and then other elements just added one after another. And I really liked how it turned out. Ah, uh, just one second. And I also printed out this drawing as a print on a paper and it came out beautifully and I was so proud of it. So I keep it behind on my desk. <laughs> and then there are some unfinished drawings. I started it and I thought I could be nice to add some you know, lyrics here, but then I kind of gave it up. And here is Maui again. And then a bit more patterns here, there, um, Maui. And around this time was when I was really into the uh, autumn themes. I used all those earthy tones, a bit of pink, a bit of brown. And I was drawing almost every day at this point. So you see very simple drawings like this and then there are patterns and then there's just a sweater or a sock and then a drawing of a girl in the woods. 
I was really inspired by the woods and the forest. I also made these drawings as the wallpapers for the phone, um, which I shared on my Instagram. Um, I think they kind of went well together as in the colors that I used and the style. This pattern I also really liked. The reason I like drawing patterns is I guess it's because it's very quick to draw because you just put whatever different elements and then you just put it together and it becomes a pattern. <laughs> and you can play around with different colors like here what I did. So that's really fun for me. More of the autumnal themed pictures like this one I made also into a sticker sheet with these drawings and I used it in my bullet journal and something about this picture illustration I really liked it's an illustration of my kitchen and then here are the drawings I did for my calendar they are 12 in total and I made them into a calendar that I self-printed and gave as presents for Christmas to my friends and family. And you can also see the progress of making this calendar if you're interested in. I have another video on it. So that was a really fun project I did last year. Still carrying on the autumnal theme. So here I had a color palette that I just stuck with throughout the whole month or two. <laughs> I think it was a good exercise to just have one color palette and just you know, see how you can play around with it because it kind of saves you from the decision fatigue of choosing different colors and seeing if that you know works together because if you already have a color palette you know that those colors go well together so that was um, somehow easy for me to um, draw with those colors. I think around this time I started to be less interested in drawing people and more interested in drawing some animals or just um, the nature or the uh, objects. So to be honest, I think I'm quite bad at drawing people and their faces and especially the body. I would need to have a bit more practice with it, but I am just drawing what I like <laughs> at this point. And that's what you're seeing. And here was the Christmas time. And I was drawing some different illustrations for Christmas cards, like here you see. And then other illustrations like this one. I uh, really love this illustration actually. It was a very simple and quick drawing that um, I just fell in love with. I realized that most of my favorite drawings are actually those drawings that were intuitive like this one which took very short time to draw <laughs> i think it was around this time that i kind of found my style <laughs> it's funny to say because i think style keeps on evolving but at the moment what i really like is coloring with pencils or brushes like this and then adding another layer at the back which adds a bit darker color so that you can see the texture but it's not so sophisticated but you can still see that there's a bit of roughness and the texture going on there so here you also see the penguin it's not filled in entirely because i like it in that way a bit more christmas themed drawings and here i changed the color palette to be a bit more blue some of uh, the drawings you might also recognize because I had them as draw with me videos or calm drawing videos that I sometimes posted. This was another kind of quick drawing I did. I didn't really have an idea of what I was going to draw. I only wanted to draw a forest and then I added those deers in. Um, and it was more of this color palette before, more saturated. And then I changed the colors to be a bit less saturated. As you see, there's a lot of drawings to get through because it's uh, a year of drawing. <laughs> um, so something about this illustration I really like as well. First of all, it's just very simple and 
it also didn't take a long time to draw this maybe I don't know 30 minutes to draw this piece of course I looked up for a reference for how to draw the bear standing like that <laughs> often I would look at the reference pictures from um, Google search for animals and their postures the more I drew, I realized I really like drawing moons and um, stars. So you'll see them appearing here and there. I think sparkles and the moon always adds a bit of the kind of like a picture book feelings to it. <laughs> then I had a drawing of pandas. It's a panda mommy and panda cup taking a nap. <laughs> And by far, this is actually one of the favorite paintings I've done. And I don't know, it was something about this painting that I really like. Um, it was very quick also to draw this one and uh, very intuitive. I also didn't use the previous color palette I had. I kind of just chose and it turned out in a way that is kind of nostalgic to me. The background building um, forest is not referenced to any city although this one looks like the Berlin TV tower but yeah um, I really like this one then I also sometimes made the animations <laughs> it's a guy waiting for his girlfriend by the train station on a cold snowy day <laughs> more of the object illustrations of the scones and this is an illustration i did a few months back when i was in korea i made this as a draw with me video and i also really like the color palette that i used here bright pink in the background and the cool blue tones and then I wanted to make another animation and I used exactly the same um, girl I had in one of the illustrations I had before and just changed the background and she's just <laughs> turning around feeling happy I don't exactly have a goal for drawing but it would be really amazing if my drawings somehow make the viewers feel a little bit happier like this girl <laughs> I also have a stack of all my YouTube thumbnails. For my thumbnails, what I usually do is I take a picture or I take a screenshot from the videos and then I would just edit them here. This is another small project I had in the past one year. I started to draw myself. <laughs> of course, I look different than this character, but um, she's wearing the clothes I also have. So I've been drawing it every season. So this is summer last year when we started to all wear the masks. And autumn, so summer last year, autumn last year, winter last year and this, um, this year and um, spring. So that was a fun project. And these drawings somehow took a lot longer time to draw especially because of these um, textures that I added and I also use different pencil than usual for drawing this I would always use the dry ink brush but then for this one I mix different brushes so I use the gouache, eagle hawk, um, the 6B pencil so yeah and because I'm so bad with drawing people and their postures, for these drawings, I would look for the references online and also for some, I would pose myself and see myself in the mirror and also take a picture of myself in that pose so that I know how I look or how I should look like. Then more patterns, 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 patterns. <laughs> some simple drawing that I've never published. And I also edited some of my Instagram posts here, for example, I wanted to make this as a GIF. So I added the sparkles that's moving. And here is the stack of all the unfinished illustrations and some ideas that I had that, 
you know, maybe I can pick up one day and continue. For example, here I had an idea of making an animation and I made a storyboard but never finished. Another pattern and this is the last illustration I did a few days ago. Um, it's a girl and a bear, they are friends. He will not eat her. <laughs> and for this drawing, I wanted to use minimum colors and I kind of like how it turned out. There's something about this moon that I don't like so much. <laughs> but I've been trying to experiment with different textures within the texture I make. Sometimes I feel like the texture I make with only the pencil brush, it's very flat and there's no depth to it. So I try to add it. Of course, I also add um, the grains because I really like that effect. Um, but I think in the upcoming illustrations, I will try to use more textures and maybe that's the direction I'll go more towards too. Um, so I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me explaining my process. I think it's a continuously evolving journey to be drawing and uh, also finding out what you like more and changing towards that different direction, perhaps. I don't know if I'll keep drawing in this style, but after one year, I know kind of what I like more and what I like less. So I really like more of the naive, simple illustrations that has a little bit of texture that is easy to draw and quick to draw. But maybe it will change and maybe I'll be uh, more interested to draw something that's more detailed and that requires uh, a lot of um, texture work. <laughs> I don't know. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed watching the progress and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!